Hello and welcome back to more Phoenix Wright. Sorry, Professor Lane versus Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Where? Oh wait, is this a cutscene? Yes, it is. Ah. <gasps> uh. Okay. Who would have thought something like this would exist underground? Now we're going full on Indiana Jones. Uh. Welcome back to Professor Lane vs. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Well, last time we played through, we finished up Chapter 5, and today we'll be starting up Chapter 6, Secret of the Underground Ruins. This place is totally different from Labyrinthia. It kind of looks like something straight out of a history book. A long-forgotten remnant of the past. It does stir up a desire to explore. Come on, Professor. Let's go explore this place. I'm afraid that finding the Great Witch is our utmost priority, Miss Faye. Okay, in that case, let's hurry up and catch her so we can do some serious exploration of these ruins. <laughs> Indeed. Archaic ruins are my speciality, after all. Everything's your specialty, which means nothing's your specialty, because you don't need a specialty, because you can just do everything. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot you're an archaeologist, Professor. Yeah, it's pretty easy to forget when he can do literally everything. Now then, shall we begin our search? I will say... Does it, Maya doesn't have to do much to put a smile on her face. She can just exist. Like, just her general bubbly personality is enough to just make you smile. Okay, well, we're in the Well of Souls now, so let's explore the Well of Souls, I guess. Hmm, the stairwell budge. Looks like it needs a key to open. Of course it does. I bet you the Great Witch is on the other side of this door. Yeah, just kind of casually sitting there waiting for us to open the door. Yes, that is a possibility, however, there is still another room nearby that we have yet to explore. Okay, Professor, we should go check out that other room first, then. I mean, we, we just, we, we barely explored this one, but okay, I guess we're going over to that room now. Okay, let's go explore the other room. Typically, you explore one room and then go on to the next one, but, you know, we, we can mix it up. I wonder what this room is. There are stone statues everywhere. Say, Professor, is it me or do those statues all look really sad? I agree. There is a certain air of sadness to them. They almost seem to be in pain. Ugh, they're giving me the chills. Here, here, here. Oh, come on, Professor. I know being creeped out by statues seems kind of silly, but you don't have to laugh at me. No, Miss Faye, that was not me. So glad you could finally make it, Professor Herschel Layton. As I thought, it was you that led us here, tell us. What secrets lie within these ruins? Now, now, I think you're capable of journeying to the beginning and finding out the truth all on your own. The beginning? Have you ever wondered why the storyteller started writing the story in the first place? More importantly, why does he continue to write it? The answers to those questions are located within these very ruins. If that is true, then might I ask why you are sharing this information with us? Simple. I want you to get closer to the truth. I'm afraid you'll have to work out the rest for yourselves. But I'm sure that's child's play for a gentleman of your caliber. What exactly are you plotting? When the light of truth shines upon the hidden darkness of the first story, the legendary figure will rise. The Great Witch Bazella. Huh? But you're Bazella, aren't you? <laughs> Me, Bazella. I hate to disappoint you, but you've got the wrong person. Yeah, but the shades are calling you the Great Witch. Ah, yes. They did indeed call me by such a name. However, that was for an entirely different reason. I'm afraid she's correct, Miss Faye. This person is not Bazella. Huh? The real Bazella would never expose herself so freely. It would place her in far too much danger. It would be tantamount to turning herself in. Also, there was something very strange about those shades in the forest. Strange? One must wonder why they would consider her the Great Witch when there is no magic present here. Uh, that's true. So much has happened so far, but none of it was related to any magic. When we met in the Eldritch Woods, and even now, you have something you wanted us to find. If you were truly Bazella, there would be no reason for you to lead us along in such a manner. That is correct. I am not Bazella. Rather, I actually wish to meet with Bazella. And that moment will soon come to pass. The truth lies with your cute new friend until we meet again. 
Oh, please tell me that she's gonna channel the spirit of some... Dis All right, okay. That would be a clever way to tie it together. If she... Because the... The only reason why she'd say this is because is if she, is, 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 yeah, words are hard. Is if she needed Maya to channel somebody. That's got to be what we're going for here. Please wait. We're not finished yet. I can't hear my voice. I can't hear her voice anymore. I think she's gone. It would appear so. That, that witch wasn't Bazil after all, huh? It would seem our great witch has been devoted to a mere witch. Oh, man. Here I thought we finally managed to catch Bazella. Remember what she said, Miss Faye. When we find the truth, we will find Bazella. Say, Professor. When we do find the real Bazella, do you think this will finally be over? I mean, everything? The witch trials. The witch trials that fake fire pit? Do you think it'll all finally come to an end? Yes, I do. Bazella is at the root of all disaster in Labyrinthia. If we catch her, then everything should come to an end. Then we know what we gotta do! Let's go, Professor! Maybe there's a clue to around these ruins somewhere. Of course. We cannot afford to stop just yet. Let us move on, Miss Faye. Huh? I wonder what that sparkly thing was just now. That sounded like a key hitting the floor. Oh, something that appears to have fallen. It seems to be a key. You think the witch dropped it? Judging by the patterns on this key, it would appear to have some sort of connection to these ruins. Yeah, it definitely does. Remember that huge door back near the entrance? I bet it's related to that door. My spirit medium's instinct is never wrong. Spirit medium's instinct, you say? Well, then let us head back and check. Yeah, but you know, that witch must be pretty absent-minded to just drop her key like that. That's something Nick would do. I'm not sure that's entirely the case. Perhaps she intended to drop it here. Really? Why would she do that? So we can continue to move deeper inside the ruins, naturally. Oh, you mean she's trying to lead us to the beginning? Yes, precisely. Boy, she really wants us to find this truth. Huh. Whatever that might be. We could not have asked for a better clue, even if there is an ulterior motive behind it. If it is the truth she would like us to find, then we must be prepared to face it. All right, hold on to your hat, Professor, because the order of the English gentleman and feisty spear medium is coming through. Ha. A most ambitious title, if there ever was one. Let us head to the entrance, Miss Fay. Okay. And so our mystery has changed again. Great. Right! Mr. Wright! We made it outside, the coast looks clear! Ow. My back is killing me. I think the elderly woman has left for a break now. To be honest, I was a little nervous there for a second. By the way, where are we? I swear, do you know? No, I've never seen this place before. There isn't a forest like this anywhere in Labyrinthia. We must have traveled quite a distance. Um, did you guys see that just now? Huh? My, I wonder who that is. That's quite an odd outfit they have on. Right then, how about I go over and ask where we are? Wait, are you serious? But they're wearing such weird outfits. Now, Mr. Wright, you mustn't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, you're right. What was I thinking? Talk to the robed person. Okay. Hello, Mr. Shade. Do you have any information for us? Um, excuse me, could you perhaps tell us where we are? This is Eldwitch Woods. An outside world that exists away from the story. An empty world. A world with no official existence. A world unwritten in the annals of history. An outside world? Edwidge Woods? All who dwell in these woods live as shades, each bound to their tasks. W what do you mean by their tasks? Could it be? Are you new recruits? Why haven't you attended the Great Witch's orientation ritual? The, the Great Witch? I can't help but feel he's giving us the most disapproving looks right now. You, you must see here right away. He exists to carry out our tasks, nothing more. Uh. Hey, wait! He's gone! But that was strange. Could that have been... Do you know what that was all about, Estella? There was a fairy tale that is often told to the children of Labyrinthia. What kind of fairy tale? It's a story about a secret forest where the souls of witches sentenced to burn and the flames wander around. A secret forest? Those souls cannot be seen by the living, and they say anyone who is able to see them is possessed by the evil spirit. A forest of wandering souls? Maybe this is the forest mentioned in that story. But, but, but I mean, it's just a kid's fairy tale, right? If that story is true, does that mean the person we just spoke to was a witch's spirit? No, no way. Wait, hold on. Remember how we got here? We came through that cage in the fire pit all the way down here. Which means, I think there's a very good chance the witches are connected to this forest. And if I'm right, that means a certain someone must be here somewhere. We're coming for you, Maya. We should go check out the forest then, Mr. Wright. Esfella, I hope you're ready. Yes. Maybe we'll find a clue as to Maya's whereabouts. Yeah! Alright, guys. Let's get going already. Our first stop is that creepy-looking haunted house up ahead. Okay. Investigate the residence. What is this place? 
It looks like a workshop of some sort. I wonder what's being mixed inside those cauldrons. Well, maybe it's a witch's potion. Hey, do you smell that? Do you think it's coming from the liquid inside? I feel like I've smelled this scent before. Um, Luke, I don't think it's a good idea to breathe in too much of this scent. That's probably why all those people are wearing masks. What? Do you think they could be wearing gas masks? Uh, so this room could possibly be a little more than hazardous to our health, huh? I think we better move on for now. I think my sciences are stuffy. Mr. Wright, look! There's another door on the other side of the room! And it looks like there's no toxic gas there! I don't know if I'd call it toxic just yet. Anyway, we need to proceed with our search, so let's go. Go to the innermost room. Okay. So we're gonna meet up with Maya and Layton in the underground ruins then? Ah! Is that blood? The room is covered with it! What could have happened here? Oh, no, wait. This doesn't seem to be blood. Huh? There. You smell that? It smells like that liquid they're making in the room back there. You know, now that you mentioned it, I think that I think that this is that liquid. Oh, thank goodness. So that probably means no one was hurt here, right? I guess not. Still, something clearly happened here. Huh? Mr. White, it's better. Look over there. Is that a secret passage behind the chandelier? Hey, good eye, Luke. Wonder where it leads. It looks pitch black in there. Should we go inside? Of course. We're on an investigation, aren't we? Right. What's this? Luke, are you scared? You've got it all wrong! I'm perfectly fine in the dark. No problems at all. Right then, uh, I'll be right behind you, Mr. Wright. Yep, he's scared. Uh, I'm right behind you as well, Mr. Wright. You're scared too, huh, Spella? Thanks, guys. Who do I get to who do I get to walk behind then? Nobody. Okay, well, let's go through the hidden door and reunite with Leighton and Maya. Wow. Who'd have thought that there'd be some ancient underground ruins here? Wow. This place is amazing, isn't it? Look at those large pillars in that stream of water. Everything here looks so old. I've never seen anything quite like it. And you say this kind of place is called a ruin, is it? Oh yeah, I guess you don't really have any ancient ruins like this within Labyrinthia, huh? Ancient ruins? Something wrong, Luke? It's just... This reminds me of the Professor. If he were here, he could tell us anything you want to know about these ruins. Ah, uh, that's right. The Professor was an archaeologist. Yeah. Sometimes I can almost hear the Professor's kind words calling out. Even now, I can almost hear his voice. He probably can actually hear his voice. Me too. And I can almost hear the professor's voice in Myers too. I think I hear them as well. Um, come to think of it. It really is like. We can actually hear them. What? Now then, let's check. Now then, let's check over on that side. Professor, over here! Those voices just now! It has to be! Yeah, there's no mistaking it. Professor! Professor! Luke, what are you doing here? Professor, it is really you! I, I thought you'd never come back! Even though deep down I believe the spell could be broken somehow, there were times when it wasn't sure it was possible! <laughs> Professor! I'm so sorry, my boy. I've caused you quite a bit of worry. Professor, you're all right. Um, Professor, what about Maya? I thought I heard her voice too. Ah, yes, not to worry, Mr. White. Rest assured, Miss Faye is just... Yo, Nick! Hey, Nick, Nick! M Maya, am I dreaming? Is it really you? Yep, the Preston and I are as real as real can be. You have no idea how relieved I am, really. I've never been so happy to see you. Except the time you got kidnapped, and the other time that you... Oh, that you got, you know, you almost died, but you know, aside from and the other time, and then also the other... Never mind! I I'm really sorry, Nick! You must have worried sick! It's just, well, I, I wanted to do something to help a fella, you know? No, no, it's not your fault, Maya. I mean, it, well, it, it's, I, it, she, it kind of is. If only I'd helped you sooner, she's the one who decided to jump off the freaking... Oh, that scene. Then none of this would have happened, and you wouldn't have been dropped into that pit of fire. I... I thought I'd never see you again, Nick. I'm really sorry. Come now. Everyone here did the best that they could. That is what has enabled us to power through the hardship and reunite. That is what I believe. Yeah. Why are you all, Professor? Good old Professor Layton logic. Logic's so good leaving you good as gold, right, Professor? Haha, -ha, indeed, Miss Faye. I'm so glad you all can. Meanwhile, yeah, the team's back together, and then we have a spell over here just kind of doing our own thing. Um, Maya, are you hurt? Are you suffering from any burns? And Professor, has your arm been properly reattached to your body? You're quite all right, Espella, I assure you. You may rest easy. Yeah, look, we're perfectly fine. Oh, thank goodness. Espella. Phew. Spella should look super relieved. We're entirely unharmed, Spella. Please dry your tears. Look where you started, Nick! Everyone got all sappy, now you made a Spella cry! Mr. White! I just must never ever make a lady cry! What? Why is it my fault? <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Mr. White, you kept those two safe and out of harm's way. 
For that, you have my utmost gratitude. No problem, Professor. I honestly couldn't have done it on my own. Luke and Espella really helped me when I needed it the most. Likewise, I should thank you for keeping Maya safe. Thank you so much. Not at all, Mr. Wright. After all, it is a gentleman's duty to help a lady in need. Nick, you should really learn to be a proper gentleman like the professor here. Huh? Well, I, I'm not too sure I'd be able to pull off the whole top hat look, for one. Mr. Wright, it is an honor to once again team up with you. No matter what challenges may lie in our way, with your help, I am certain we can overcome them. Let us go forth and solve the mystery that is Labyrinthia, shall we? Absolutely. We'll fight for a spell until the very end. Professor, I'm looking forward to working with you and putting an end to this mystery once and for all. It will be my pleasure, Mr. White. Okay, they're starting to they're starting to earn their payoffs. They're they're slowly but surely starting to to have solid character work. I think it might be because they chose to split up the characters occasionally. You know, have my interact with Luke. Um, and Layton individually have Phoenix and Rabbit, Layton and Luke individually, just mixing and matching them so that they all get their own chance to shine. Slowly over the course of the game, it started to work. It wasn't, it was really rocky initially when Layton was just like, oh, Layton's so good at everything and Phoenix is crap at everything. But it's, it's getting better. It, it may have taken a while, but it's getting better. That's why I think there's more of the witch trials that meets the eye. Aha, so you figured out there was something fishy with that fire pit. The patented Nick investigation method. Dive head first into a pit and figure out it's not really a pit after all. Proven and tested. Boy, thanks. Anyway, that's how we ended up here. So what about that great witch you said you ran into? We still do not know much about her. However, it seems she was the one responsible for leading us here. She also told us of a place containing many secrets regarding the storyteller's story. She refers to the place as, be as the beginning. The beginning? You're saying my father's secrets are hidden there? As I suspected, you have never heard of this place, correct? That's right. There's also the first time I've ever seen these ruins. I think everything will be made clear when we get there. Labyrinthia, even the Great Witch? It is as the Great Witch said it would be. It's a bit scary to be honest. Huh? I feel as if getting to the bottom of all this and exposing Labyrinthia's secrets will change everything. Knowing my father's secrets, Espella. I think the old me would be absolutely terrified right now. She probably couldn't even go on. But I must stay strong. I must know the truth. I've been so blind to the truth this entire time. Because of you all, I'm finally able to see the world for what it really is. That's why I want to go along with you. Alright. Let's do it. Let's go on one last Indiana Jones adventure and find the truth. We're holding this together. Woo! Get ready, Espella. This is going to be an adventure you'll never forget. Okay, Maya. I believe that large door on the other side of the room should lead us further inside. Hmm, in that case, we should investigate immediately, right, Professor? Yes, that's right. I must say, I've not seen you so excited in quite a while, my boy. Really? Haha. <laughs> that's because he's just itching to get to some puzzle solving with you, Professor. Haha. Uh -huh. Then we should not delay. Let's investigate that large gate. Go further into the ruins. Oh, look at that, a puzzle. Cool. Huh? That's weird. There's no handle. It doesn't look like we'll be able to pull or push the door open. Oh, look, it's like there's a keyhole. But we don't have a key. Heh <laughs> Nick, what would you do without me? Zavari! The professor and I found this back in the side room over there. It appears this key belongs to the door. Now watch as Maya the Magnificent works her magic and opens the door. Please, hold your applause. Take that! Huh? What seems to be the matter, Miss Faye? What gives? This key won't work. Maybe it's a fake. I like how your first thing is to think the key is fake instead of just belonging to another door. Let's not hastily jump to any conclusions. Look closely here. It appears this key is part of a puzzle. Right, a puzzle, you say? It would seem our progression will not be as easy as we thought. Alright then, if it's a puzzle that needs solving, that's your cue, Professor. Not quite, Mr. Wright. This puzzle requires your particular expertise. Wait, me? Your unique way of thinking may be crucial to finding the solution. Do not worry. You will be fine. Remember, you have seen many different kinds of puzzles during our time here in Labyrinthia. I believe you are now well prepared for tackling any number of puzzles that may come your way. I'm not exactly sure that's true, but if there are any contradictions in this puzzle, I'll do my very best to point them out. Okay, so we're not totally done with the, uh... Oh, so now you're good at solving puzzles levels of con of uh, condescension. We're not... We're not totally out of that uh, out of that field, but it's... It's it's less it's not as egregious as it was at the beginning of the game. Anyway, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna need to switch the screens around, so we'll do that now. There appears to be an then there appears to be an intricate keyhole in the middle of a massive door. An inscription to the door reads, "The key to proceeding is in the key." If you recall, Maya tried unlocking the door with the key, but it would not turn. Uh, strange indeed. Try using the key from different angles. Oh, okay. So you just have to 
you just you, do I literally just have to turn the key a certain number of directions okay how do I do that do I just is, is it just a matter like if I if, 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 if I if I if I touch the key will it will that turn it around oh okay doesn't seem to work from the same okay yeah great um, do I have to okay I can rotate it like this uh would it fit would it fit like this that there's only there's only two ways it can go in unless maybe maybe do I have to go in from the from the bottom no I can't the memo things in my way okay that didn't work oh hmm the key just won't turn it gets stuck halfway through it's like Maya said there must be some special way of unlocking it heh <laughs> You just need to flip your way of thinking, that's all. It could be that we just need to flip the key, too. Well, that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to flip the key around. Uh. That's it, Maya. The key's in how you hold the key. Let's give it another shot. Yeah, I got that. I, I've, I've already tried doing that. I've, I've tried. Like, I've tried. I've tried to insert it like this. But it didn't. Yeah, it didn't. It, it, it already didn't like that. Hmm? It's still not working. But we've tried everything. It just won't open. I've already. Trust me. Trust me. We've, we've, we've already tried everything. Uh, there must be some other way the key fits into the keyhole. Hmm, perhaps it would be wise to reevaluate our way of thinking. Boy, this is like the puzzle to end all puzzles. Come on, Nick, quit your whining. Where's that Ace Attorney spirit? Who's whining? Anyways, maybe we should try a little courtroom thinking on this one. Hold it. Hold it! What do we... So the problem is that we haven't been able to figure out what we have to do past this point. Hmm, have you spotted something, Mr. Wright? Uh, yeah, you can say that. I think we've been thinking about this all wrong. That's why we haven't been able to see the true nature of this puzzle. Ex excellent, Mr. White. That is clear I hasn't given another go, shall we? The key to proceeding is in the key. That must have something to do with the true nature of the key itself. What is the secret to using this key? Uh, the key is in using the key. What? It... I, I guess C, because that's what the thing said? Objection. The true nature of this puzzle lies in the very key itself. Take a closer look at the key. Notice the small gaps all around? We just have to move this and there, the key to the key. Oh, okay. Uh, sure, that wasn't... So what do, you, so what do we do now? Professor, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Indeed. These pieces appear to fit into something. It's a puzzle within a puzzle. A puzzle within a... Hey, Mr. Wright, that must mean the area around the keyhole is... Exactly, the pieces of the key, and the space around the keyhole is the real keyhole. Turnabout puzzle. Oh, oh, okay. It turned out the key to solving this puzzle was in the key itself. The broken segments of the key seem to fit inside the space surrounding the keyhole. Solve this final puzzle, the final piece of the puzzle to continue on. Oh, okay. Wow, we didn't get to do that at all. We didn't, we didn't get to solve that. We just, they just... We, we just kept trying things until the game said, actually, no, you, you you have to do this other thing that you can't figure out for yourself. That was, okay, uh, not your best work, game. So do we just have to get them all to fit inside? Okay, well, first things first. This. Put this down there, because it's going to, that takes up the most space, so we'll, we'll, we'll have that as the base part. This is clearly going to go on top. If the, if the controls would let me, there we go, okay. And then this goes up here, and this fills in the final gap. Your Honor, there is a clear contradiction in this puzzle. Puzzle solved. Your Take Honor, there that. is a clear contradiction in this puzzle. Uh, okay, maybe you might have gone a bit too far with this one, there, game. You don't, you don't really need to. Okay, so now, uh, now I actually have a. Now I actually have the reverse problem. I never thought I'd... Because, okay, so maybe... I didn't actually see any comments like this, but you may have thought to yourself, oh, you're only saying that that it's annoying that Leighton helps Luke... Or, sorry, that Leighton helps... Or, sorry, Leighton handholds Phoenix during the trials because you like Ace Attorney more than Professor Leighton. I would say the same in reverse. Like, like I, I made fun of in the moment how Phoenix and Maya were starting to solve puzzles instead of Leighton. Um, but in reality, it's like... To have them do the opposite of what they're known for, like the point of, a, of the crossover should be to have them each do have their strengths and then combine their strengths together to to save the day. 
But this game initially was like, oh, Layton's just a master ace attorney, and then Phoenix and Maya also kind of are sort of good at puzzles. But now it's like you you created an entire other puzzle concept just for Phoenix and Maya. We, we didn't need that. We, we really did not need this, especially because we didn't really get to... Like, you could have just skipped straight to the puzzle. You could have skipped that entire part of the, about the whole key thing and just had to solve the puzzle itself. Like, you didn't... You didn't need to do any of that. That was really unnecessary. But all right, whatever. Whoa, that was awesome, Nick. Who'd have thought the key would have, com would have a completely different form? Now that's what I call thinking outside the box, Mr. Wright. Now we'll be able to continue through the viewings and all things to you, Mr. Wright. Ah, uh, I don't really think I did all that much, though. You have my thanks as well, Mr. Wright. Such a unique skill as yours is no small feat. I, I don't I don't think that Phoenix is... I don't... Okay. Well, our combined efforts, I am confident that we can get to the bottom of the mysteries of Cloudy Night Like, excuse me, this, again, is the reverse. Like, Phoenix didn't do anything special there. He just said, hey, let's try this. Layton definitely could have done that on his own. It's like, it, it's, it's the reverse of before, and by the way, I have no emotional reason to get mad about that because, again, I am not a fan of Layton or Luke in the slightest. But, especially given how they acted earlier in the game. But, we're talking, like, we're, we're, we're staying consistent on this. Um, and that's just not, it's like, it's just really weird to do. It's, it's been a good while since we were last able to team up. Indeed, unfortunately, I've been a little less an animate than usual of late. But hey, it all worked out in the end, and it's all thanks to the professor's golden arm. Yeah, but still, the only reason we even got his arm back is, was because that pawnbroker returned it. We got really lucky, that's for sure. Did you say my arm was returned by a pawnbroker? Mr. Wright, if I may ask, what is the particular story behind that? Don't worry about it, Professor. It's probably best if we just keep on moving. Yes, good idea, Mr. Wright. Let's go, Professor. Oh, wow. I mean, this... Layton games have always been Indiana Jones-style things, except... Like, Indiana Jones, if the plot made no sense. But this is a full-on Indiana Jones adventure now. Remains to be seen if the, if the backstory is going to make sense. But, whatever. <sighs> There's fire in those statues. It would appear we've stumbled upon yet another very elaborate mechanism here. Hey, Lucas Bella, check this out. Those plants are glowing. Oh, Maya, that's actually luminous moss. Even though the moss looks like it's glowing in the dark, it's actually reflecting the light from its surroundings. Its unique cells are responsible for the mysterious green color. So it's actually reflecting light? I must say that was an incredibly detailed explanation, Luke. Of course. I am the professor's apprentice, after all. Luke, check this out. If you poke the moss, it totally makes your finger glow. I say we try a little experiment. Stay still, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of moss all over you. That way you'll be bright as the professor. No, that's not funny. Please put down that clump of moss, Maya. Hee <laughs> hee. Looks like the tension level just took a big drop, huh? I think it is about time we saw some smiling faces. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Wright? Yeah, definitely. Having the whole gang together again is reason enough to smile, all right? Mr. Wright, let us, let's give them some space and explore on the head ourselves for the time being. Okay. Go further into the ruins. Uh, do I have to use the move feature to do that? We can't really get over there. Because there's a giant river in our way, so we can't cross the... The water's just shooting out of there, huh? Kind of like a river of souls. Spooky! Ooh. Okay, um... I don't... There's nothing... I guess I can examine the statues. Professor, look at there's a puzzle hidden here! Quite an ancient one of that, my boy. I do wonder what sort of puzzle this could be. This is fascinating. I'll solve it straight away, Professor! Okay. Oh, dear God! Um. Monster Dash! An enormous monster is after Luke. That looks very, very. That is. If nothing incredibly important to the story happens later in this video, this is gonna be the thumbnail right here. T an enormous monster is after Luke. Touch the bomb icons on the touchscreen to drop a bomb in the monster's path and hinder its progress. Find the path that will drop out all of the normal bombs. After they have been dropped, touch the golden bomb to deliver the final blow. Keep in mind, you cannot tread the same path twice. Okay. So we just have to find the route that's gonna knock down all the bombs. Seems simple enough. Uh, okay, so the golden bomb has to be the last one. Okay, so, uh... I guess we'll just... We'll, 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 let's... There's only three ways we can go from the start, so we'll pick a direction and we'll just work our way down from there, so... We'll go up here first. I mean, this seems pretty straightforward. I just... Hit all these. That wasn't... This is my answer! 
That was ridiculously straightforward. Let me do the next one too. That might be the easiest puzzle we've ever solved in the Professor Layton game. Like, unironically, that was just... Follow the dotted line and you win. Well, that was- that didn't do anything. Okay, great. Um... Maybe the fire? Can't examine that. This? Professor, it looks like there's letters of some sort etched into the stone slate. This will appear to be some kind of ancient script. Huh. No shame we can't read it. Mr. White, surely you remember my occupation, do you not? Uh, oh yeah! You said you are an archaeologist, right? That- that means you can actually read it? I cannot say for certain, but I will do my best to see what I can decode. Give me one moment. So the professor is an archaeologist trying to uncover the secrets of magic. Sounds like something out of a move. Get it? It's funny, because Indiana Jones. Hey, Nick! What are you and the professor doing over there? We found some ancient writing on the stone slate. The professor is attempting to decipher it right now, so keep your voice down. That's so cool! In a really sciencey, geeky kind of way! Hey, where are Spella and Luke? Oh, them? They're over by the water trying to wash all the moss off Luke. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that you must have had something to do with that, Maya. <laughs> Oh, Maya. Never change. My apologies for the wait. I have managed to decipher the script. Wow! Amazing, Professor! So? So? Look, he was waiting. What's it say? Is it a clue about witches and magic? Maybe it's Vizela's secret evil plans for taking over Labyrinthia? So they go by the Tri State area! I'm afraid not, Miss Faye. This slate appears to be a warning. A, a warning, Professor? Yes, allow me to read it aloud. Heed these words. Those who enter through these gates of destruction. Do not proceed any further, or you will soon find yourself haunted with memories most terrifying. Oh, oh no, oogity boogity, shiver me timbers, shaking in me boots, haunt bad memories, oh no, it's like I already have a thousand of those. So what's one more to add to the pile? When this gate is opened and the dreaded sound heard once more throughout, the calamity shall befall us once again. The inner sanctum has been locked with the three seals. The first is a seal of Leviathan, second is a seal of despair, the third is a seal of sages. Leave these seals in peace or face the dire consequences. Heed this warning well. Calamity? Haunted with memories most terrifying. Do you think it means Bazella? If we continue on to the beginning, will we end up finding the real Bazella? Going strictly by what we've read so far, I would say that is the most likely scenario. But Bazella's the one responsible for the appearance of witches on all the other misfortunes we've seen so far, yet what's written on the slate seems to say the opposite. It's almost like Bazella was actually sealed away. And long ago, someone must have been able to break that seal and release her. That would explain why Bazella's on the loose again. Guys, what should we do? Well, you're not gonna get any answer by just sitting around here. I say we go on. Espella? Didn't we all agree that we would seek out the truth no matter what? If that's the case, then we can't just turn back now. Why do you ask, Spella? We cannot abandon our duty and turn back, although the road ahead may be fraught with danger. It is unlikely that we will have another opportunity like this to find out the truth. Yeah, we only have until the start of the parade. That doesn't give us much time. We have to find some decisive clues here. Like finding out who released Mizella from her prison. Alright, then it's settled. Come on, guys, let's saddle up. Saddle up on what? Two more, let's get going. This is the seal of the Viath. I believe it may be referring to this very river. Perhaps we can find a clue somewhere nearby. A clue in the river? Hey, there's something under the water. Looks like a stone path. You're right, Maya, but it doesn't look safe to cross with that current. You don't think we could somehow raise those platforms up and get something to get across, do you? Well done, my boy. It would seem we have discovered yet another puzzle. I believe these seals mentioned in the text are actually puzzles. Of course they are. Um, Professor... Excuse me. Will it be alright if I give this puzzle a try? No need to worry, Spella. The puzzle will get us across in no time. But I want to do my part and help out, too. Please let me help out. I must repay your kindness. Spella. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to shout just now. You need to apologize. You've made your feelings quite clear, Spella, and for that you have my thanks. Now then, we shall leave this puzzle to you. I know you will be successful. Okay, thank you so much. I won't get down, Professor. Okay, here's a Spella with her own puzzle. Oh dear. Puzzle 59. Seal of the Viathan. There are three large platforms leading across the river. Each platform is being weighed down by a large piece of stone. Moving a stone block onto a platform will add additional weight and cause it to lower. Likewise, removing a stone block will cause the platform to rise. Use all the stone blocks to lower or raise the platform so that they are an even height. Okay. That shouldn't be that hard. That... Okay, so... Uh... Hmm... Okay, so... Let's... First things first, let's remove all the boxes. And see... What they are like... Naturally, okay. So... 
by default, the right one is down the furthest, and the, and the left one's only slightly above the middle. Okay, so... Hmm, this might, re this might result in a lot of trial and error. Um, but, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so, my, my initial thought that we need to do here is that the right platform... Hmm... So there's three small boxes and only one large box. So the large box is gonna have to go on the left platform. Because I'm guessing... Cause, uh, okay, but that almost gets in line with the right platform. So I think, I think we should try it because we have to use the, the large box. I think we should try to, we should try to get it all in line with the right platform since that almost did the trick. So let's let's put this on here. That's too much. But wait, uh, but if we put a small box here, will that? Okay, now those are perfectly in line. So now if, if we put, if we just shove the rest in the middle, will that finish the job? Yes, it will. Okay. Oh, how exciting. Well, that wasn't so bad. I'm glad I was able to help. I thought that'd be much more trial and error oriented than it was. Amazing, Espella, you raised the platforms. I really did, didn't I? That was quite remarkable, Espella. Extremely well done. I knew you could do it, Espella. The civilization that once existed here must have been quite advanced considering the mechanisms used on those platforms. I cannot help but wonder what became of them. I bet there will be a clue to that somewhere behind, Professor. So it's like the it's it's like the three the three trials from the end of the last crusade. Uh, so this must be the seal of despair. Are we gonna, are we gonna have to cross an invisible bridge? You know, it's probably best we don't look down at the bottomless pit, unless you want a one-way trip into darkness. As I thought, this tomb is a puzzle. Give it to me, Professor! Uh-uh, this bad boy's all mine! Well now, it seems you both gained some of the spell of spirit. In that case, how about you both tackle this puzzle together? I'm sure you two will solve it marvelously. Ah, yes. Because when you have people collaborate to solve a puzzle, you definitely don't have two different ways of thinking clashing with each other, resulting in nothing and no progress getting done at all. Yeah, that definitely never happens. Alright! Just leave it to us! Okay. Puzzle 60. Seal of Despair. Uh... There is a bridge to cross the crevice. Unfortunately, the pathway is cut off halfway through. It looks like pulling a set of levers can rotate the segments of the bridge. Rotate the segments to align the pathway and find a way across. Okay. So we just have to keep rotating these until we... So... Do I literally just have to keep rotating these until they all connect? Is that literally all we have to do? Because if so, that seems really easy. I just have to link all the paths together? That that can't be it. That can't be the whole thing. Did that wasn't a puzzle? Let's do it, Miss Moya. That was just rotate the just wheels and then you win. From the professor's apprentice. That was hold that was scroll down to win. What? Okay. Wow. We did it, we fixed the bridge! Now we can go on the last seal! Okay, time to focus! Just keep staring straight ahead and whatever you do, don't look down! Shrek, I'm looking down! Just make sure you don't go jumping around on that thing, I don't think my heart could take it. But Mr. Wright, it's really nice and steady, look! Ah, cut that out, Luke, seriously, you're gonna give me a heart attack! Heh, <laughs> they're so full of energy, aren't they, Professor? That they are, Spella. Keeping all spirits up will bode well for our investigation. Come, the last seal is just up ahead. This is the final one, right? Indeed. The gates of destruction will open once the seal of sages is broken. It seems our turn has come, Mr. Wright. Huh? Oh, yes. I've been really looking forward to this, Professor. That, huh? Then he's out of scream. I can't wait to do this puzzle, Nick. Would you hush up? Hey, take a look at those two square recesses in that pedestal. I'll say they're there for some purpose. I wonder what it could be. This is a puzzle that cannot be solved by one person alone. I believe we must combine our strength if we are to have any hope of opening that door. How fitting that the final seal should present us with such a formidable challenge. Mr. Wright, I have no doubt that together we can solve this puzzle. Shall we begin? I'm ready when you are, Professor. The Professor is a puzzle-solving expert. I hope I don't slip up too much. Alright. Final puzzle. Save the day. Puzzle 61, Seal of Sages. There are four stone slabs and a pedestal with two recesses. Each stone slab has a different symbol. Place a slab in each recess and touch 
uh, check to make the seal on the door light up. Each slab will reflect a different symbol on the, onto the wall. Find the combination of slabs that will correctly light up the seal. Okay. So, trial and error then? We literally just have to trial and error. Create the snake symbol. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, so we have to... So we do have a symbol that we need to recreate. Okay. So we need... Uh, first off, what are the differences? So the direction that their heads turn are differences. Uh, the third one has a snake head facing to the left. And then also the tails. So, so we need one image where the, okay, so this one goes there, because that matches the, the one with the, the striped tail on the top left and the one stripe in the bottom right. Then we need a double stripe one, and the only one that does that is this one, but can we rotate this? Aha, there we go, that should do it. Nice and easy. That's not an ominous Let bridge at all. Let us think about it together. Every puzzle has an answer. All right, wonderful. You can finally continue on to the deepest depths of the ruins. All right, I have a feeling we're gonna get some answers. Here we go. This is either gonna break everything or make everything make sense. Did you hear that just now? The door's opening. Woo! Way to go! I knew you guys could do it! Phew, glad we got past that one. I wonder what's on the other side of this door. Indeed, it certainly is intriguing, Mr. Wright. We do not know what might await us on the other side of that door. It's alright, I'm not scared. We've come so far, we must continue. We must find out what's behind all this. Let's do it, and let's move forward. Here we go. Oh, good lord. This room. It looks like a shrine of some sort. It certainly is very beautiful. The light is almost unearthly. It seems quite unfitting with that this place should be associated with destruction, doesn't it? It's not like the rest of this ruins. Uh, it's not like the rest of the ruins at all. It's actually really well preserved. I wonder if someone else came here before us. Come on, guys. I think we can relax a bit. Especially after that puzzle that almost made Nick pass out. You know, I honestly thought Vazella would come charging out the second we opened the door and turn us all into frogs. Maya, you're starting to give me the creeps. So it, uh, looks like Vazella's a no-show, huh? I suggest we scout the room for any potential clues. Okay, how about we start with where where all the stairs are heading up to? Let's start there. Seems like a good place to start. What's up with this pedestal? Looks a bit strange. Looks like something is missing. It would appear that something quite large once stood here. Perhaps an object of worship. Something large? Ah! Look up there! Above the shrine! What's that? Looks like there are marks over all over the wall. Hmm. Whatever was on this pedestal must have been even larger than I originally thought. Seems whatever it was has been taken away for some reason. I wonder why. The inscription on this stone plaque could perhaps offer us a clue. Although, I'm afraid the words in this inscription are somewhat ancient. So, you can't read what it says? It would be quite a different story if I were able to take this relic back to London for analysis. As it sounds now, however, I may only be able to decipher a portion of it. Read it, Professor? What does it say? It seems as if this previous inhabitants of these ruins were responsible for this inscription. While the inscription itself would appear to provide yet another mystery to be solved. Allow me to read it aloud. The former inhabitants of these ruins created a bell out of pure silver as a tribute to the gods they worshipped here. A bell out of pure silver, huh? Well, sure is lucky we found that then. So that they actually they made a giant silver bell. It's actually pretty impressive. However, when the bell was rung, it did not summon a god, but instead an evil demon. This evil demon brought upon this world a great catastrophe, causing considerable damage to the land. Did you say a great catastrophe? Well, what could have happened? Probably the great fire. Those that survived the incident dubbed it the Bell of Ruin and sealed it within this very room. They then fled in fear of the curse placed upon this land by the demon. The inscription contains one final warning. To those who have gained entry into this sanctum, heed our words. You must not ring the Bell of Ruin. So, I thought it was going to be the bell that we saw that was dropped in the marketplace, but I guess it's an actual giant bell. That is as much as I can gather. I believe the object that was removed from the shrine was the very Bell of Ruin mentioned in this inscription. Professor, could this have anything to do with Bazella? Unless they borrowed some pin particles from Ant-Man, I doubt they could have shrunk the bell and take, take it with them, so it must it must not be the same bell. Unless there's, unless there's also maybe maybe there's a shrinking spell we'll find out about later. I don't know. I cannot say for sure, Luke. After all, demons and witches are two very different concepts. However, perhaps there is a chance that the two are connected in origin through this legend. You learned about the Bell of Ruin. Great. Origin, Professor? Think back to what was written. What followed the Great Catastrophe? You must mean the curse placed upon this land part, right? I imagine that when the bell was rung, it must have summoned something. 
Probably summon Bazella. What other curse could that have been? Oh, me, 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 pick me, pick me, I know. Probably, 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 it summoned Bazella and then Bazella destroyed the town with the fire. And what was this great catastrophe brought upon by the demon? Wait, could it be? The fire that destroyed the entire town? Yeah, I don't know why you... Yeah, that's the first thing that came to my head. Spella, what's wrong? Ah, uh, no, nothing's wrong. Are you sure? You don't have to put on a brave face for us. Tell us if you're not feeling good, okay? Yes, of course. But this still has me wondering. What exactly was the ca catastrophe that happened a long time ago? I can only think of one thing in Labyrinth that could be called a catastrophe. The legendary fire! Of course. But the Bell of Ruin and Legend of Bazella must be... Svella, are you absolutely sure you're feeling okay? Your face has gone really pale. The legendary fire. Do you remember now, Espella? Who, who are you? Allow me to remind you. Of who and what you truly are. And what you did. So many years ago. Yeah, if you think I'm buying that she's actually Bazella for even a split second, you are very, very mistaken. What I did, I... Uh... Right? Uh, no, I, I, no, I'm, I am. That's right. I am Pacella. Yeah, I, I'm not buying that even for a second. Pacella. I don't know. Do, uh, is Bella? No. <sighs> And so it has begun. Oh, what a lovely father you must be. Um... Okay. The mural hidden under the Great Archive from the remains. Okay, great. Seeing the appearance of the bell tower is some kind of sign, but Luke's out to reveal the town's mysteries along with the truth behind the witches. Should include some mystery lie here. Yeah, great. Uh, it would appear the previous inhabitants of the region built these underground. Okay, yeah, nothing. It's nothing. It's really special. Okay, so uh, the game wants you to think that Bazella. Sorry, the spell is Bazella, but that's that's not. I don't believe that for even a split second. That that's gonna be it's gonna be one final switcheroo. Um, I'm guessing because. The, clearly, we're, we're approaching a climax here. We're in the end game now, and the final Roach trial is going to be proving if Spella is the witch or not. And then we're gonna, then we're gonna, we're gonna expose who the real Bazella is, and then that's going to be when things come to a close. But I still have questions about the world. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure we're gonna get explanations soon about what the story, how the story, why the story is being written, how that even works, how why anyone's surprised about anything if the story, if people are writing the story, like shouldn't they just know what happens if if the story is literally written now beforehand? I just. That's the questions I have right now, um, because once we answer, once we get those answers, I think we'll, I think things will start to make more sense. But until then, that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned next time's schedule tomorrow for some more Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Goodbye.